you ever wondered what horrors a police officer might encounter during their career? This question takes us on a journey today, as we penetrate the veil of secrecy that often shrouds the experiences of those in the line of duty. Police work, as we know, is not for the faint-hearted. It exposes officers to a spectrum of dangers and terror that most of us can barely fathom. So, brace yourselves as we delve into the chilling tales of a former officer. Our officer's inaugural bone-chilling encounter unfurled on a frost-ridden mysterious night. A typical night shift found our officer impeccably dressed in the solemn uniform, patrolling the tranquil streets of the small town. Suddenly his radio hummed into existence with a panic-stricken distress call. A voice unfamiliar to him trembled as it narrated a tale of uncanny occurrences at a dilapidated, abandoned mansion situated at the remote edges of town. The officer, a seasoned stalwart of the force, felt an icy shiver dart down his spine. Duty beckoned, and he steered his patrol car towards the desolate, haunting destination. The mansion, an eerie relic of forgotten times, loomed menacingly against the canvas of the moon-drenched night. Its once grand facade was now cloaked in years of its once vibrant paint, now chipping away to reveal the ravages of time. Our officer, stepping out of his car, wielded his flashlight like a sword against the encroaching darkness, unveiling a pathway tangled with wild weeds that led up to the foreboding, creaking front door. The air hung heavy with an undeniable sense of impending doom, yet our officer marched onward, his grip on his flashlight tightening. Inside, the mansion was shrouded in an unnerving silence, punctuated only by the occasional murmurs of old wood complaining under the weight of time. Dust particles pirouetted in the beam of his flashlight as he traversed from room to room, each in a state of suspended decay, seemingly untouched by human presence for decades. Suddenly, a soft chilling whisper, akin to a spectral echo filtered through the silence, trailed by an abrupt, icy gust of wind, that extinguished his flashlight. Our officer, now trapped in the inky blackness, felt the whisper amplify, the chill in the air thickening. His heartbeat drummed against his chest as he fumbled to resurrect his flashlight. When the light finally pierced the darkness, it revealed an ominous, shadowy spectre at the end of the crumbling hallway, which vanished as quickly as it appeared. Overwhelmed, he sprinted out of the house, his breath ragged, pulse skyrocketing. The whispering ceased, the icy gusts of wind and the mansion resumed its abandoned, silent stance. That night seared an unforgettable imprint on our officer, a chilling testament to the unseen horrors that skulk in the shadows. This was the mere prologue, the first of three blood-curdling encounters that would forever alter our officer's perception of the delicate boundary separating the known from the unknown. Just when our officer believed the situation couldn't possibly deteriorate further, reality proved him utterly wrong. Our second encounter paints a tale that could send an icy shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned law enforcement veterans. It commenced as a routine night on patrol, the quiet only broken by the occasional hooting of an owl, until a car ripped through the tranquil silence with a deafening roar. The officer, startled by the sudden disruption, immediately kicked his patrol car into high gear, the siren wailing and cutting through the night with an urgency that matched his racing heartbeat. But this chase was far from ordinary. The suspect's car darted forward like a bullet, accelerating with an unnerving speed that seemed unnatural, almost as if propelled by a supernatural force. The relentless chase led them to a desolate, poorly lit part of town, where the suspect's car skidded to a screeching halt, sending a cloud of dust billowing into the air. With a heavy thud that echoed in the eerie quiet, the driver's door swung open and out stepped an imposing figure, unnervingly calm amidst the chaos of the flashing police lights. Our officer, his heart pounding like a war drum in his chest, advanced cautiously. The suspect was an intimidating presence, a man of towering height and broad shoulders, his silhouette forming a daunting picture against the dimly lit backdrop. He turned slowly to face the officer, his eyes glinting with an unsettling intensity that seemed to reflect in the flickering streetlight. The suspect's appearance was more akin to a beast than a man, his features distorted in the eerie lighting. Our officer, despite his years of experience, felt an icy chill creep down his spine. This was not just a mere criminal, this was an entity beyond comprehension, something he had never come up against before. Summoning every ounce of his courage, the officer called out to the suspect, 
his voice maintaining a steady tone, despite the fear coiling tight around his senses. The suspect, however, stood there, unmoving, staring back at him with those unnerving eyes that seemed to bore into his very soul. Suddenly, with a speed that belied his colossal size, the suspect lunged at the officer. Time seemed to blur as the officer found himself in a desperate struggle for survival. The suspect was incredibly strong, his grip unyielding like iron vices. Every punch, every movement from the suspect felt as if it was driven by a force that was not of this world. But our officer was not one to buckle under pressure. With a sudden surge of adrenaline, he managed to land a solid punch, momentarily stunning the suspect. Seizing the fleeting opportunity, he whipped out his taser and fired, the sharp crackling sound cutting through the tense silence. The suspect convulsed violently as the electricity coursed through him, his body jerking uncontrollably before he collapsed, finally subdued. Our officer, his heart pounding like a jackhammer and adrenaline rushing through his veins, had managed to survive this uncanny encounter. However, this was an experience that will forever be etched in his memories. This encounter served as an unnerving reminder that the world is teeming with bizarre, inexplicable phenomena. Phenomena that sometimes assume a face, a petrifying face that haunts you in your darkest dreams. The climactic confrontation, the most harrowing of all, was the incident that led our brave officer to renounce his duties. This is not tale for the faint-hearted, my dear listeners, but it is a narrative laced with such gravity and importance that it demands to be heard. Our officer found himself embroiled in the investigation of a deranged serial killer. A psychopath was at large, leaving behind a trail of hapless victims and taunting the authorities with cryptic, unnerving puzzles, indicating his next move. The case was a bone-chilling amalgamation of sharp intellect and sheer insanity. It was akin to playing a dangerous game of chess with death, a life-claiming enigma that required solving. Then, one fateful day, a tip trickled in, hinting at the possible location of this elusive killer. Seizing the opportunity, our officer proactively volunteered to investigate the lead. He plunged headfirst into the terrifying abyss, armed solely with his unyielding courage and an unwavering sense duty. The suspected hideout was an eerie, forsaken warehouse, a place where shadows took grotesque forms and the stifling silence shrieked of dread. The moment he stepped inside, the temperature dipped ominously. The walls echoed the tales of a bygone era, but the officer's undivided attention was on mission to apprehend the monster he was pursuing. As he delved deeper into the gut of this desolate warehouse, each step reverberated ominously in the encompassing void. Suddenly, the deafening silence was shattered by a creaking sound, quickly succeeded by a blood-curdling chuckle. He spun around, coming face to face with his worst nightmare, the serial killer himself. The trap had been expertly set and sprung. The killer, an ordinary-looking man, had eyes that held a terrifying madness which eclipsed any semblance of physical strength. A sickening grin twisted his face as he reveled in the officer's palpable shock. The officer found himself in an uncomfortably vulnerable position, unarmed, unprepared, and utterly isolated. What ensued was a nail-biting standoff, a lethal waltz with death, with the officer's life precariously hanging in the... The killer lunged, but our officer's survival instincts surged, he deftly dodged, ducked, and weaved, letting his rigorous training guide his actions. The abandoned warehouse morphed into a grisly battleground, a theatre of horror where survival was the only victory. Miraculously, a sudden diversion our officer with the chance to disarm the attacker and overpower him. He managed to subdue the maniac, but not without enduring injuries that would leave lasting physical and psychological scars. The incident had a profound impact on our officer, in the aftermath, he was hailed as a hero, the one who had brought the reign of terror to an end, but his victory had come at an enormous personal cost. Harrowing experience had disturbed him deeply, exposing him to the darkest recesses of humanity. He had looked into the abyss, and the abyss had looked back. As he convalesced in the silent solitude of his recovery, he made a life-altering decision. He retired his badge, opting for a life distanced from the perilous front lines. This chilling tale serves as a grim reminder of the lurking dangers in the shadows and the sacrifices born in the name of duty and justice. These experiences are a stark reminder of the harsh realities that police officers often face. In today's narrative, we delve deep into the chilling tales of a former officer, 
Tales that brought to light the grim encounters he faced on duty. From his first encounter, a spine-chilling ordeal with the unknown, to the second, a haunting experience that tested his courage, and finally, the last encounter, a horrifying incident that left an indelible mark on his psyche. These stories are not just tales of terror, but also a testament to the resilience and bravery of those who wear the badge. They remind us of the emotional and psychological toll such experiences can take on the men and women of the Force. Their job is not for the faint-hearted. It requires a certain fortitude, a certain strength of character. Remember, behind the badge and the uniform, police officers are human too, often dealing with horrors that are beyond our wildest imaginations.